What up, what up? It's your boy Quiz the Bob, and you tuned in with Head Campus TV for an episode of Student of the Game. I got my boy T here with me, and we're going to get into this interview real quick. So, T, what's up with you, man? I appreciate you doing this interview with me today. I ain't no thing. Anything I can do to help out? Appreciate that for sure. So, how long you been into the barbering industry? Well, say, I started barber school in July, mid July. And so, I'm pretty much new to it all. Alright, so what made you want to become a barber? Man, anywhere I went, whether it be in job corps, college, or the military, I seen there was always a need for a barber. And if it was a barber around, he, he always was busy. He always stayed, you know, busy. So, I figured, you know, we all need to make money some type of way. We all should have a, a craft that we, that we can you know, work off of. So, I figured you, why not me? No doubt, no doubt. I noticed you said you was in the armed forces. How long you served for? Four years. Four years. Yeah. So, being on the base or whatever, seeing people get their hair cut, how you feel about some of the barbers? Was they putting it down? Did you see some good barbers or was they jacking y'all heads? <laughs> Man, you would have, mostly everybody was just getting what they could, you know what I'm saying? But you have one or two barbers that was good and they'd be booked up. So if you weren't making an appointment or if you wasn't already one of their regulars, you was gonna have to go to somebody else and get one of them high and tights or something, you know? No doubt, so it was more one of them things where they were just getting you in and out of there. Right. All right, so fast forward to the point where you had in your life now trying to become a barber. Like how has it been your journey since you've been here at Bladecraft? I mean, it's been pretty cool. I learned more than what I expected um, as far as the history of barbering and what, what all a barber can actually do, you know, besides just giving a, a clean fade. So, I mean, uh, it's, it's a whole lot more to it than, than what you expect. So, do you have any expectations in general of what you expect to get out of this going to school? And do you have any expectations as far as money or what type of barber you want to be when you get out on your own after you finish getting your license? Uh, at first, I thought that the only thing I was trying to do was learn how, learn how to give a fade and a clean lineup. But now, since I learned a little bit more, I learned how to use the, the razor. Um, so now my expectations has grown a little bit. So I'm learning how to uh, be more professional. I expect how to, how to present myself as a barber. You know, as a professional barber, not just, you know what I'm saying, a dude on the corner giving out cuts, you know. So you spoke about professionalism, which is one of the key things that it takes to be a good barber out here. Everybody don't have good professionalism. So as a student of the game, what do you feel like are some of the traits that go into a good barber that make you a uh, professional? Um, for one, you got to learn how to talk. You got to uh, be able to communicate effectively. Um, you don't want to just be blabbing all the time and you know just saying anything. You got to be able to keep track of what you're saying. You got to be able to listen as well um, and get your point across. And make sure sometimes you got to help the client get their point across. They might ask for something and they not really um, explaining it the right way. So you got to know how to ask ask the certain the right questions in order to you know get your client what they asking for. No doubt, no doubt. So, what's one of the haircuts that you feel like you struggle with in terms of out of all the haircuts you've ever had to do so far? Or what's the haircut that you feel like give you the most challenges? Not saying that you won't get it or that you can't eventually, you know, succeed at doing it, but what has been one of your most difficult haircuts that you do on a day-to-day -day basis? For me personally, it's not a certain haircut. It's just remembering the steps. To the haircut, like I got the skill um, as far as you know, flicking the, the blade, um, holding my shears a certain way, positioning the hair so it could be cut a certain way. M me personally, the hardest part is remembering the actual steps of what comes before what. Gotcha. So I noticed we use head shape sheets up here, you know, at the school or whatever. Whenever we get ready to do a service on a client, mm -hmm. do you write down the steps to the haircut that you do? 
as far as when you get ready to do a client, whether they be new or it's the same repeat client, and if so, do you ever go home or just in your spare time, do you look at those head safe sheets and try to look at what you did to achieve that cut? Now, I don't take them home and look at them again, but um, as far as writing them down before I do the cut and then being able to refer back to it, that I do that and that's definitely a big help. Gotcha.